I know you have watched a lot of law of attraction videos but this one is going to be completely different from all the videos you have watched because today I'm going to give you practical steps on how you can start attracting the desired outcome that you normally wish for. So let's get into it. So the law of attraction is one of the laws of consciousness which simply says that like attracts like. So let's say when you're having thoughts of a certain caliber, they end up attracting similar things or similar thoughts into your life. So many people have wanted to learn how to simply apply the law of attraction in their life so that they can be able to attract the things that they normally want in their life. And today I have a seven step method on how to simply attract the things that you want using the law of attraction. And without wasting any time, we have to first understand what we call the process of creation. So the law of attraction is solely based on the process of creation because you want to create something which you want to experience into your life and creation follows a specific or certain process that enables things to come into your life so how does it work so in order for something to be created it has to first become manifested into the mind it has to first develop as an idea inside the mind Anything which you see out here that is being made or created before it was manifested or before it was made, it was first an idea. Think about the mobile phone that you have. Think about your pencil. Think about the car. Think about the house that you even live in. All these things, before they were made, before they were physical, physically manifested, they were first conceived into the mind. They were first seen as an idea. So after something is conceived as an idea, it emits a certain um, electro or let's say electric wave right so when it is when it is seen as an idea it generates an electronic wave right and once it generates this electronic wave the more attention you give unto it the more it now gains what we call a magnetic wave which is the feeling okay so let's say you have a thought in your mind the more you dwell on that thought that thought will ultimately generate a feeling right this feeling has a lot of energy within it and the more you concentrate on that feeling it ends up becoming an emotion an emotion is what we call energy in motion and this energy in motion vibrates at specific frequencies which are sent out to the universal energetic realm and once they are sent out creation process begins whereby the frequencies which you send out from your emotions tend to start now creating similar events or they tend to attract similar things into your life and that cycle keeps on going on and on and on remember thought feeling emotion frequencies and again so that is the cycle on how you create things into your life and that is simply what we call the process of creation and now let's talk about the steps or or the things you have to do in order for you to simply start attracting your desires in life and the number one thing you have to understand is what we call clarity or knowing what you want now first you have to understand or have a crystal clear clarity of what you truly want this means that instead of saying i want to be rich say i want to earn a specific amount of money you become very clear about what you want stop having generalizations be clear of whatever you want and see it through that is the first point or first uh, step you need to do and once you know what you want what how it follows is you have to become mindful of your thoughts and emotions remember we said that you tend to create what you think and feel most of the time because what you think and feel normally leads to an action and that action leads to creation of whatever it is that is uh like uh, that is a, is, is, is a like factor of what you think, feel and act. So you need to become mindful of your thoughts and emotions. This simply means that you've got to be in the present moment. Whereby when something pops up into your mind, you are completely present to be able to decipher and know what has happened into your mind. Whenever you are feeling some kind of way, you need to become so aware of whatever you feel. See, the more you become aware of how you feel and how you think, what happens is you normally raise your vibration. What happens is you normally now learn how to uh, indulge your mind into the positive thoughts that will lead to the fulfillment of whatever it is that you desire. So how do you really become mindful of what uh, you think about and what you feel? You become mindful through the practice of meditation. So when you practice meditation, 
you become so focused on the present moment whereby you are able to pinpoint thoughts that pop up into the mind randomly and you are able to clear your mind you are able to calm and rest your mind when your mind is calm and rest it means that you don't have that mental clutter meaning that you don't really alter the vibration of whatever it is that you want to attract and then number three we have practicing gratitude so gratitude goes a long way and the gratitude is the feeling of whereby you are completely appreciative of whatever you have in your life and when you are completely appreciative and thankful for whatever you have in your life you normally open up doors for more things to start popping out into your life because of the gratitude which you normally feel uh, you have then number four we have believing you have attained or know you have received before you received now this is a prerequisite for simply manifesting anything before you can receive anything in your life you have to first feel as if you've already received or achieved it and once you feel this you unlock it remember your eyes can only perceive of a small fraction of the ultimate reality so when you believe in the unseen and in the unknown you are completely showing to the universe that you are truly uh you truly trust and have faith in god and you know that things are going to unfold the way you want them to unfold so remember that if you can't feel or know that you have received before you receive you will not receive anything so that is a prerequisite thing to understand then number five we have visualization and affirmation now visualization and affirmation are very important because they start reprogramming your subconscious so visualization is whereby you start having or creating mental pictures of you accomplishing or um, yeah accomplishing or being in possession of whatever it is that you want to attract into your life so you have to see yourself in first person achieving the goals that you set for yourself and when you see yourself you want to create affirmations affirmations these are like mantras these are like things which you tell yourself in order for you to program the subconscious mind even further and while you are creating your affirmations it is very important to uh, to use the confirmation affirmation technique which means that when you say an affirmation you normally confirm it meaning that you are uh, you, you are proving that this affirmation is something which is real and is happening in my life currently and then number 6 we have following your intuition or taking action now uh, most people think that uh, law of attraction is all about uh, the mind and not simply working but you have to know that we exist in three planes of existence meaning that we 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 experience reality in the spiritual dimension in the mental dimension and in the physical dimension so action is necessary for attraction action is necessary for the manifestation of your desires but the action needs to come from the intuition needs to come from the inner guidance for it to be able to become effective into your life and last but not least we have letting go or re, uh, or the surrender method so once you've done all these steps if you don't surrender if you don't let go they won't manifest so what is letting go letting go is surrendering not being so persistent on when and how you will receive what you want and simply means that you are in a place whereby you are good with or without so the more you practice surrendering the more you practice uh, the letting go the easier you open up the doors for your desires to come and that is the end of the video so car if you find benefit from the video please ensure you are liking subscribing and please watch this next video for more enlightenment i'll see you in the next one stay safe stay blessed and stay awakened